Tacoma police say finding a body in a recycling facility is rare. But this month, detectives are trying to find out how two bodies ended up at the Waste Management JMK Fibers Recycling Facility at the Port of Tacoma. Police say 33-year-old Zach Hillis was found buried in the recycling on April 12th. Just three days later, 36-year-old Jeremy Lindsay was found buried at the same plant. We get called to death investigations daily, um, be it natural causes or violence or um, overdose. This is not a common one, and to have two in one week is certainly not common. Shelby Boyd of the Tacoma Police Department says both individuals have connections to Seattle but neither are considered homicides at the moment. The initial glance, there doesn't appear to be any homicidal injuries on either individual. So far, the Pierce County Medical Examiner's Office has not determined a cause of death for either victim. In a statement, Waste Management JMK Fibers said workers stopped and notified authorities as soon as the bodies were found. The company receives recyclables collected from Pierce, King and Kitsap counties, along with several Northwest states. Boyd says that complicates things for investigators. When we show up on even a street corner and someone is found there, there's generally evidence, whether it's, you know, basic health related, whether it's drug related, whether it's some type of violent action, there's evidence, there's cameras, there's witnesses, there's paraphernalia. But in a situation where a body's been transported to a location like this, that evidence is not easily come by. But Boyd says while getting those answers will be harder, they're still necessary. Both families need closure, and our detectives most definitely want to know what brought them to be in Tacoma and in the state. Now, Tacoma Police is calling on anyone with any information about the disappearance of Lindsay or Hillis days before they were discovered to please get in touch with detectives as soon as possible. But for now, we're live at the Port of Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.